uh, back in, in March, uh, the, the primary concern was about the distance there uh, from the access point on Naranja over the intersection. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the suggestion was made, uh, and it was a good one, to push that as far west as possible, uh, given the constraints, and uh, also to, to back that up with some traffic data that supports uh, the turn lane length uh, and the location. So uh, we've, we've, uh, we've been busy uh, in the last few months. Uh, the stars aligned here, and, uh, and, and I, I have to admit that the, the suggestions that we, we got from this body uh, and from the town engineer uh, to uh, just take another hard look at where that entrance is and, and push it further west, uh, that, that was a good suggestion. Um, despite any grumbling that I may have done at the time, um, so what, where, where we ended up here uh, was, as I said, the stars kind of aligned. Um, we've got Marcos Esparza with, uh, he's our traffic engineer and he, he, uh, he's here uh, to, to talk about the traffic. But um, in a nutshell, um, we looked at the speed data uh, and that translates into a minimum turn lane distance. Mm -hmm.